Saya senang pihak luar sana ada upaya untuk mengurangi polusi di Jakarta. Saya menggunakan masker sejak COVID dan sampai sekarang saya masih menggunakan masker saat berpergian keluar rumah e, karena polusi di Jakarta ini yang kotor. Renewables account for around 40% of Indonesia energy mix in electricity production. But the government is committed to reach carbon neutrality by 2060. Hitachi Energy is supporting Indonesia through our social innovation. Where I am right now is a GIS substation, drawing energy from solar power, thereby reducing the need to rely on the existing fossil fuel power plants. This is a collaboration with the state-owned company PLN. By implementing solar power microgrid system, PLTS, we reduce the reliance on diesel-generated power while fulfilling the electricity needs of the area. We are humble to be part of the development project of Indonesia Nusantara Capital City. Hitachi Energy installed gas-insulated switchgear substation, a total of 12 feeders distributing energy from IKN solar power plant capable of generating 50 megawatts. It is part of our contribution to Indonesia where we start from IKN as a role model of the first green city in Indonesia. Hitachi Energy has had long presence in Indonesia for nearly 50 years. We have implemented many important projects in close collaboration with all stakeholders. We did hybrid solar project in Semau, Selayar and now a very famous flagship project in Nusa Penida, Bali. These projects are part of larger program called the dieselization of Indonesia islands that are mostly these days powered by diesel. But with the hybrid technology, diesel can be significantly replaced by greater use of renewable. With our cutting-edge technologies, we are in unique position to support Indonesia energy transition. The energy landscape continue to evolve, so do we. With our local talented team, and our innovative technology, I believe we will continue to make a difference in our country's energy transition landscape. I really feel proud to be part of energy transition in Indonesia over many years and in various forms. We have also MOU with the major university that support development of the human capital, which is ultimately the most crucial asset in energy transition. All of this is just the start of even greater things to come in this beautiful archipelago.